It's disgusting, wow. Oh dear God. What's the video about? Eating potatoes only for 24 hours. Oh, is it now? Yeah. So hi, welcome back to my channel. Sorry about the lighting situation at the moment because the sun is like coming through the blinds and which is why I may have blinds all over me. But alas, here we are. Hi. In today's video, I am filming a video which I'm actually really excited for because I'm really hungry, but you would have already seen the title. So in today's video, I am eating only potatoes for 24 hours. My thing is doing something weird. We're eating potatoes only for 24 hours. So I've done this before with bread and I've done this before with pasta. So potato seems like the most, or the next one I should do. And I'm so excited because I'm so hungry. <clears throat> okay, it's about nine o'clock. I'm dressed like this because I haven't actually, uh, but, but, but. I'm dressed like this because I have a uni assessment today, which is why I look a little bit Tudor-esque. I'm gonna ignore that. I'm gonna rent a co-op and then make some breakfast, which I'm actually really excited about because I'm really hungry. I may have to scrap this entire intro because it's a bit crap, but let's go to breakfast. I'm back. So from co-op I got, obviously, potato. And then I also spotted these in the freezer and I decided to get those for breakfast because they're potatoes with some extra things. And I'm running out of time because I want my assessment soon. So I was originally gonna make everything from scratch today, but alas, I'm not gonna be able to do that. So I'm probably gonna have like five of these, four, five? I don't know, let's put these in and then we'll see how we feel. I mean, they're not really ready, but we're gonna have them anyway. Oh my god, like a fun stack. <laughs> also, what are you doing? Okay, so I have my, what are they called? Potato waffles. They look beautiful. Like, <laughs> beautiful stack. <laughs> no, you literally can't even see that lol. Okay, I'll just hold them so you can see them. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Potato waffles are so good. A bit hot now though. How many potato waffles would you normally have if you're having potato waffles? Minimum. Mi mm, oh, you'd have like two on the side of. Two or three on the side of a meal. Yeah. Is sweet potato included in your challenge? Don't know. I think that would be frowned upon. You could have a match? Yeah. I want to be jack fun. Potato? Yeah, I could have jack potato. I want to be like fun and like make things. This is just boring and oh, quick. Oh, like dofu noir. Mmm. This is just a cop-out because I've got um all right, the thing in half an hour. And I need to leave. I think that will hold me off for a few hours. So I'm gonna go do my assessment. That's about an hour, so about by the 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 by about half eleven. I'll be back and probably ready to eat something else. <laughs> okay, we're back. We're back and we're calm because we've done my assessment now, so we're okay. So it's lunchtime now. It's about one. So I'm not gonna lie, after my assessment, I was like, wow, the last thing I wanna do right now is have potatoes. We're gonna still have potatoes, but I don't necessarily fancy them. So I'm gonna make gnocchi instead, which is kind of like a potato type of pasta. I feel like that's a good idea. <laughs> the lighting in my kitchen is so bad, still. Yeah, it's actually not. So, hi. I've got the potatoes. I'm gonna make gnocchi. So gnocchi is literally just potato pasta, effectively. You like boil the potatoes, put the flour in with it, and then boil it again. Jobs are given. I don't know what to have it with. I'm not. I'm actually not very hungry, to be fair. I don't know why. I know there's gonna be at least one comment saying, "Why are you eating if you're not hungry?" But I fancy food. Every day when you're so dirty. What the heck? Walking down the street. Everybody that you meet has an original point of view. <laughs> and I see. Okay, so I don't know what sauce to have on it. Hi. Because I don't actually have that much in here. Oh god, it looks like an absolute crap show. Crap show. I do have tofu, but I might make a carbonara later. Oh, I can't make a carbonara later. <laughs> Just potatoes. Okay, so we could make a carbonara sauce, but with 
gnocchi and then I can have smoked tofu with it. And if I make my carbonara sauce using potato like I do, then I've got a potato base and a potato sauce. Take a carrot. I'm gonna pinch some of that potato. Oh. So I, to make my sauce, I'm gonna use carrot, a bit of that potato that's boiling, cashews, soy milk, nutritional yeast, blend it all up and create like a sauce, which I'm sure, oh my God, I'm sure I've done a video for before. Definitely need this. This is the situation. Sorry if you can't really hear me because that's like going a bit crazy. In here we have cashews and carrot, which we're gonna blend. And over here we've got my potatoes, which are going a little bit crazy. And I need to know. So now we take the potatoes, which I'm gonna grab, and we drain the potatoes. Potatoes in bowl. Oh my god, I'm getting a facial here. Hello. Okay. Add a little bit of milk. It's a little bit dry. Maybe too much milk. Who knows? Okay. Is what we're looking at. And then we add the flour until it like goes like gelatinous type thing, I think. I'd be honest, I don't really know what I'm doing. Okay, so this is what we're looking at at the moment. Really just start working on my camera quality, my camera angles, because these are not the one. I've got some garlic salt here, which I'm gonna add, but I don't have much of it left, so I'm pretty upset. Okay, we're almost done. Oh my God, there's so much going on. I don't want this to not work, because that'd be embarrassing, because I feel like, Everything I ever do on this channel doesn't work. I'm just gonna say that's done. I'm gonna look at that. Okay, we're gonna take our little knocky things, roll them into a ball. Job done. Do we want a time lapse here? Maybe we'll do a few seconds of a time lapse. I'm bored of this. So now, actually we're gonna make the sauce before we do this. Okay, but look how good this looks. I'm obsessed with myself. Oh my God, look. What's going on with my hair? I have no idea, but that tastes so freaking bomb that I'm literally obsessed. So now we've got to put the gnocchi in the pan um, and it's got to like rise to the surface, but I've just realized there's like no water in that. So off we go. Bring it to the boil. And here's the thing. So you have to like put these in there and they sink at first, hopefully this works. And then when they're done, it will rise to the top. So the trick is to not do loads in one go, otherwise it will be slightly overwhelming when they all start to come out. Ah! And now we wait. Okay, so they're still not rising, so they're supposed to do it pretty rapidly. Um, so that's where I'm at. Come to the surface, my friends. I am so weird. This sauce is so freaking good. <laughs> By the way, I'm just gonna add a little bit of my um, tofu, I can't bother to cook it, but it's the smoked one, to it. Maybe they're just too big. I don't know. It's really outstanding. Okay, I think maybe they're trying to rise now. Oh, do we have red? I think we maybe have, I mean, it, are they? Okay, they're rising. All systems are go. Okay, and then you take them out and then you pop them in the in your bowl. Ah! Ta -da! I'm just gonna crumble this over because I'm really lazy. Would have been nice with like a, a green something, but. Right, well, Sophie has tomatoes, so we're gonna steal those. Oh my god, stop! Yeah, I probably should have stopped. Okay, we're taking her to like the good lighting, the good staging area, if you will. Oh my god, look at her. Oh my god. This is what we're looking at. I haven't actually tried it all together. So freaking good. Mm. I could have probably done the knocky slightly better, but alas. I'm need this. Am I? Okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna eat this and I will catch you when I, <laughs> don't know why I said that, when I have my next meal, but I'm feeling positive because this is exceptional. <laughs> it's a bit. <laughs> Okay, so quite a lot of time has passed. I've been doing very minimal actually, but I just went to my friends and now I'm back. So it's about seven and I'm gonna make dinner. So that lunch filled me up so massively, to be honest. But for dinner, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, let's try again. So quite a lot of time has passed and it's now seven and I'm gonna make dinner. So for dinner, I'm thinking what I really wanna have is, you know, <sighs> I'm like obsessed with those like videos you used to watch on like Facebook and Instagram of just like the food being made like bosh and tasty and things like that. And I always, literally always see these potato skewer things that are like, so I'm gonna try and make some of those because I've actually never made them before and I've always wanted to have them and I don't know what's stopping me from making them. So here I am. I feel like it's not the most interesting thing to have for dinner and like the potatoes, like, I could have a lot of different things. But, and mash is like my favorite kind of potato, but I'm gonna try to do these because hello, they look so freaking good. 
Look at those. This is the before shot. We'll see what the after shot is like. I'm blurry. And we'll see how well I do this. And obviously I'm gonna do more than two skewers, hello. Potatoes, ow, sugar. So, assembly time. How the frick does one do this? So I went for four. I don't know if four is gonna be too many or not enough, but I went for four. Hopefully that goes to the center. I mean, it didn't really go to the center. How the frick do you navigate these through the center? I mean, they're slightly hot, to be honest. Ah! Ah! Okay. Okay. We have my four skewers. Now. Now what do we do? I'm going to bring you closer so you can actually see what the frick I'm doing. That's a little bit better. Working in a spiral motion from one, from one side to the other, hold a sharp, thin knife at an angle and then cut the opposite direction you're turning the skewer. To. Okay. Wait, what? So like this? No, but then I th No, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Is that right? Oh my god, it's working. You can't see what I'm doing, but it's working. Oh my god, stress. And then what, you're supposed to spread it out? How the frick? <coughs> now I'm hoping that's gonna be enough. Oh. Ew, it's like making a weird thing. Gently fan out each potato the length of the skewer. I literally don't understand. Is it meant to touch the skewer? Oh, I'm being dumb. Oh my god, it's actually working. Oh, it was going so well until that point. Oh my god, we've had an absolute mare. Everything's breaking. Okay, so that's... That's number one. Right, come on, let's save this. two here and we've got two here it's going great so now I need to put oil on them and then put like stuff on them you literally can't see what I'm doing right now but I promise it looks good right we're giving up I literally feel exhausted oh my god after that this is what we're looking at now hopefully these work so while that cooks I am gonna make my dessert so for dessert oh my god stop for dessert I'm making mashed potato truffles. So, intense. So for dessert, we're making mashed potato truffles. So, yeah. I've got mashed potato here, so I've got half a cup of mashed potato, and I have a cup-ish of chocolate. And it's really, it's not enough, I don't think, but I've, had, I've eaten some, which is the issue, and I'm running, I'm running out, so this is about as best I've got. So I'm gonna melt that, I've got this. So if you watched my pasta version of this. You'll know that I had the Elf's pasta. So, stop it. If you know me at all, you'll know that I, every time I eat, I have to have something sweet afterwards. I say this in every video, getting really annoying. But anyway, so if you watch my pasta version of this, you'll know that I had the Elf maple syrup kind of pasta, and it actually wasn't too bad. So, this also could be okay. I also, when I did it for a week, pasta for a week, I had, oh my god, I'm You'll know that I did chocolate pasta for my week thing, which everyone hated, slash everyone sent hate. It actually wasn't too bad. So I'm hoping that the mashed potato with chocolate won't be that bad, but it looks like it's gonna be bad. But to be fair, pota potato doesn't really have like a strong taste. So it might not be too bad. So it burns it a little bit, but that's fine. So we've got chocolate here, we've got the potato here. So I guess, it's disgusting, wow. Oh God, this looks weird. Let's stir them in until you can't stir them no more. Oh, where is it? Oh, oh, found it. I mean, I mean, it's weird because firstly, there's lumps of potato. <laughs> and secondly, you know when you mash potato, you get that weird like gritty kind of texture that's still kind of in this, I mean, I don't hate it. So we'll put it in the fridge for 30 minutes to get a bit thicker and to firm up, as it would say. So I've decided that I'm literally just gonna take it out. And well, I have. 
This is what we're looking at. Now, it doesn't look too bad. It's not as crispy as I would like. Not a complete failed mission. Now, I'm going to, like, put it in my bowl type thing. Ah. Once you lose the sticks, it's literally just a big plate of roasted potatoes. Hot load. Some of them have worked. Most of them sort of haven't. They do look good. They taste pretty good. And they are really... That fully went on the floor. I put them with some ketchup, obviously, hello. And then I also added my sauce that I made earlier for my gnocchi because it's just so freaking good. Hi. I am going to watch a film, which is why I'm like laying down. It's now like eight, by the way, because these took me so long. And I fully just bit into a raw potato. Like, that's pretty much raw. It's not raw, but it's like close enough. I freaking love potatoes. This challenge is such a bit of me. Mm mm. That was so freaking tasty. Some parts of it were quite raw, so there's that. But that was still really good and really freaking filling. Um, and now I'm gonna see what my truffles are saying. Oh my god, I'm literally so full. Earlier when I made the the mashed potato for my truffles, I made loads, so I've like eaten like <laughs> half of this whilst I was waiting for everything else to come out the oven. There's that. So we have this. It's still like, I don't understand how that's supposed to make truffles. I don't see that forming anything anytime soon. How do I rectify this? What can I add? Maybe I add cocoa powder. To be honest, it's not even that good. I'm a bit upset. Ooh! Idea! So, I got this from... From VegFest. It's the salted maca caramel protein powder from Vivo Live. So we're gonna add this to thicken her up. We see the situation. Let's be honest, it doesn't even taste that bad anymore. Are you ready? So I have absolutely zero things to put on the top, which is why I've sort of gone for the cinnamon vibe. But these don't look that bad, in my opinion. I know it's not really focusing. These are made with mashed freaking potato. I'm not mad at it. The occasional bits of potato, which I haven't mashed very well, they're a little bit interesting, but on the whole, I'm not mad at it. Have I just come up with a new thing? Oh, actually I haven't, because I copied that, but with the protein powder as well. Mashed potato truffle protein things. Actually not too bad. I'm actually so confused, like why are these actually okay? It's got potato in it. Like it literally has potato in it. Anyway, on that note, I'm gonna sign off this video. I don't know how many of these I've eaten. I mean, I've already had three, plus all the mixture. So we'll see whether the night coached me. I'll write up on the screen how many I actually ate. I really hope this has helped you realize that you don't need to fear potatoes and that they can be enjoyed as part of a healthy, balanced diet and they can be enjoyed if you wanna have them throughout the entire day. I support that as well because hello, this was peng. If you want me to do any other foods, any other sort of like demonized foods as well, because we like getting rid of that, leave them in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Please don't forget to like because apparently that's a thing and that actually really helps my channel. Who knew? And subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next one. Oh, and follow me on Instagram. I always forget to say that. That's such a big. <laughs> oh my God, so high again. I also forgot to mention that I literally finished this entire packet of potatoes. So there's 1.5 kilos of potatoes in here. Now, admittedly, obviously I had only half the portion of gnocchi and I left, uh, Sophie had the rest of it. And I've got mashed there and I've got some of these here, which I probably will consume. However, I reckon I probably had about a kilo of potatoes today. Like being a generous to the, the part that I didn't have, I reckon I probably, and my camera died, but yeah. I reckon I had about a kilo of potatoes today.